In the previous episode, we looked at the Tiftio HR11W's functions, tested it out, checked it over, showed you guys how to work it. In this one, we're going to take this little beauty apart and see what makes this thing tick. Okay, to select 9 kilohertz, what you need to do is you have to be in AM mode, and you're going to uh, press the menu key, and we're going to search, go down here, to go down to where it says step switch and press menu and then it goes to 522 kilohertz and now when I step up as you'll see it goes in 9 kilohertz steps instead of 10 kilohertz to go back to 10 kilohertz press menu scroll all the way down to where it says step switch Press menu here and I go back to 520, which is the lower limit for the AM band when you're in 10 kilohertz mode. That's how you switch between 9 and 10 kilohertz on this little radio here. Just for those who, who live in countries where the, the step is 9 kilohertz as opposed to North America where everything's 10. Okay, let's take apart this uh, little emergency radio and see what's inside it. I've already removed the battery. We'll just remove the screws here. Okay, the unit should pop apart. We'll pop out the solar panel now so that it won't stick anything here. And the unit should just open up, I would think. Wow, there's probably one, ah, there is one more screw down underneath the crank. Yes, they put in ridiculously long screws. Check this out. This is not even out yet. There we go. So the unit should just come apart, just like that. And we have the, the charger here. I'll just unplug that little plug. And what's the other one that's got to be plugged in here? Oh, it's the battery contacts. And they, are, they should just unplug from here, I think. Okay, so here's the here's the unit itself. Here's the AM antenna, little speaker in the back here, half decent little speaker. The AM antenna wires here, kind of a just kind of stuck in there. This is the uh, the generator, as you can see when you spin it. This is the obviously the rotor here when you crank it. I thought this plug was the uh, going to the generator, but it's not. These wires here are going to the generator. This is actually the plug that's soldered down to the antenna. That's why the antenna didn't come up. That's the FM antenna. Just gotta take a little closer look at the way that the wires are attached on here. Don't wanna break anything. So here's the speaker here. This is, this is obviously a base port to give a little bit better sound. The flashlight is over on this side. If I loosen off these screws here. There's the speaker with the base cavity. So there's the speaker there. And here's the uh, here's the circuit board. I see one solder connection on here that is not it doesn't look like it's done properly. I'm gonna fix that. That one right there in the middle of the screen. Looks like someone missed that. Here's the Bluetooth board. Here's the Bluetooth antenna down here. So here's your Bluetooth. These uh, diodes here are going to be the rectifier diodes for the, the generator. 
So the generator's got three coils. It probably has three coils actually. Uh, it's got one, two, three, four, five. It's got six diodes. So I bet you it's a. I bet you it's got three. It's got three stator coils on it, and it produces a three phase that's rectified here. And the Zener diode here is going to limit the charge voltage. Three watt speaker and IC3 is going to be the audio power amplifier. This is going to be a bridge tied load um, little basic amp that uh, is going to deliver about three watts. My soldering iron's up to temperature, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fix that uh, that connection that I see is no good, not done. It might not be important, but then again, it might be. So we'll just fix that. Again, it may not do anything. This is a switch for the the siren and for the the uh, flashlight. So it, it's, it's, I think it's just the tab for the switch, but might as well fix that while I'm at it. Put the speaker assembly back in here. Make sure that I route these uh, wires for the antenna away from the gear here. I don't want to have them get tangled up from cranking the thing, so we're going to pull the wires down underneath here and just make sure that they are in the clear, if you know what I mean, from the crank. Okay, plug the FM antenna back in. And put the battery contacts back in here. And I should be able to just drop the top on here. Get the other wires out of the way. Oh, I gotta bring the solar panel around the back side here where it was before. Like that. Keep all these wires out of the way. I know that these ones were brought up through here probably to prevent them from getting munched by the gear when it's being cranked. It's a little more involved because you've got this this gear that spins. Uh, this this uh, state this rotor that spins inside here right so you got to make sure that it's not going to hit anything when it's spinning and make sure nothing's stuck to it either which i think i've got something stuck to it yikes it was just my battery um, terminal here for the lithium battery it wasn't seated quite right so it was uh, touching up against it so that's fine now you see we're going to get these wires out of the way to make sure that nothing is going to touch it and make sure that everything's clear of the part that spins, which it is. And now I can put some of the screws in and the screws are all tight. battery back in the bottom of it here. The battery cover. 
And of course, I'm going to have to reset the time on it now because, of course, I had the battery out. Of course, there's no card in it because I don't have the card in it right now. Let's just see whether the uh, time has been retained. I doubt it. System settings, calendar, radio. System settings, menu. Time set, menu. Of course, it hasn't been. I've lost the time because I had the battery out of it. So we'll just reset the time. 18. Two, twelve. It is now ten o'clock, so twenty hours and eleven minutes, and we're at uh, we're coming up on thirty seconds here right now. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and there we go. We're set. That's it. The clock is now set on this thing. And um, that's pretty much it. I go back to radio. Let's just see how this thing sounds now. Go to AM because AM was sounding good. No music playing on my. AM sounds good. And FM. bad sound actually with that bass reflex speaker in there probably shouldn't do that with the power on but tick tock six o'clock there's that old alarm again stand up i shut wishing i was sleeping in don't know how i do it there you go now i do it every day Hope you enjoyed the look at this little uh, emergency radio. The link to it is uh, on the channel. If you want to get one, you can pick one up through that link. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you again real soon. Bye for now.